Hi, welcome back. It's the New Testament in a year. We are on day 101 and we're in Luke 13, the end of Luke 13, um, through to the beginning of 14. And just a couple of things that I want to pick out from today's reading. And the first one is to do with fear. So these people, some Pharisees come to Jesus and they say, you know, you need to stop what you're doing. Pharaoh is trying to kill you. And we don't know whether these were friends of his that were saying, like, come on, we're concerned for you or whether they were just tr trying to um, make him stop what he was doing, um, and so they were enemies of his. But regardless, you, they, they bring um, a word that potentially could have been full of fear. You know, you need to stop doing, he, he's out to kill you. <clears throat> and I love Jesus' response. Um, he says, go tell that fox, no, basically. And this idea of him being a fox, um, one thing I love about it is he, he a fox is like, Nothing really. What can a fox do to you? Nothing. It can't hurt you. It can't. It can annoy you. Maybe if it pulls your rubbish out your bin, but it can't do anything really significant. And I love that Jesus' perspective and his understanding. He was just so secure. He knew what he was there to do. He knew, and ultimately, he knew that this was not going to be down to Herod anyway. Whether he died or not, and we know he did, was not down to human choice, but God's, his own choice of the will. And it just made me think, I've been actually thinking quite a lot about fear recently and the fear in, in my life over various things and just fear generally and how much it, it, it can take hold if we're not careful and how much if we're not careful we will listen to fear um, and it cripples us, it can cripple us. And how fear so often comes from the devil just trying to uh, really take our eyes off of what God is saying to us, what he's calling to us, and also trying to, as he does, rob us from having life in all of its fullness. And I think from what I read um, today, it's just that desire in me, for me and for you, that we would have that same response that Jesus had, which was we see fear as um, something just to be brushed aside, to cast aside, um, and to not be uh, distracted by our fears. And then the other thing I just want to pick up on just right at the end of the passage is just um, Jesus teaching about um, about banquets and humility and not only that, but um, remembering the poor in all things. And he, the passage finished today says, when you have lunch or dinner, don't invite your friends. Now, just to say the actual emphasis on that, which we don't get in English, is don't merely do this with your friends and family. We know that Jesus is not against gathering with friends and family because we see him doing it other times in the Gospels. But he's saying, don't just do that because that's what everyone does and that's fun and that's nice and everything. But you've got to remember the poor. You've got to remember. And there's that sense of meal times being like the most wonderful, but also the most everyday thing. And just that reminder as we keep getting in Luke, remember the poor. Remember the poor in your everyday. So two things to leave you with today is, first of all, how much is fear making itself comfortable in your life? And does that just need bringing before God again? And second of all, today in your normal everyday, what does it look like to remember the poor? Because that's God's priority and needs to be ours too. All right. Have a great day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.